Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to install and set up the Postgres database and connect with Spring Boot. First, let's download the Postgres database. Here, I'm using Windows, so let's click on the Windows icon. Let's click on the download the installer link. Download the latest version of Postgres DB. Downloading starts. Postgres DB downloaded successfully. Now let's install Postgres database. Installation starts. Just follow these steps. Click on the next. So from here, you can choose the directory. You can see it is going to install these four components, but I don't want to install Stack Builder, so uncheck this option. Now click on next. Installing starts. Postgres DB installed successfully. Now click on finish. Search for PG admin. Click on PG admin. PG admin opened successfully. Here it is asking for the set master password. So simply you can choose any password. And click on OK. By default, created one database server and that is PostgreSQL 13. Now, to connect this DB again, need to add the default password and that is Postgres. Check the Save Password checkbox. Connect it successfully. See here, one database is available and that is Postgres. Here you can see in schema there is no table exists. So we can use this DB or we can create our own database also. Okay, database setup is done. Now let's see how to use this Postgres as a database in the Spring Boot application. I already created a simple application and that is already available on GitHub. So let's open our GitHub page. Here let's look for the book rest API project. See here is the project. Let's clone this project. Project cloned successfully. Now let's import this project in the Spring Source IDE. Import this as a Maven project. Click on Finish. Project imported successfully. Now let's open the POM XML and application properties file. So here you can see we are using in memory database and that is H2 database. And now we are going to use Postgres DB instead of H2. So first, we need to replace H2 dependency with Postgres dependency. See here is the H2 dependency. Search for the Postgres Maven dependency. See here is the Maven dependency code. So let's copy this code. Let's replace. Dependency downloading starts. For the safe side, let's update all the Maven dependency. Dependencies updated successfully. Now let's modify connection related code. So let's look inside the Hibernate core jar file. Now go inside the direct package. See here is the Postgres direct classes. Let's replace the direct first. Or even you can copy the qualified name. Okay, so this is done. Now let's remove the H2 deleted code. Replace the driver. Now let's look inside the Postgres jar file. See here is the driver class. Let's copy the qualified name. Change the username and password. And for Postgres, username and password is Postgres. Okay, so this is done. Now let's modify the URL. First, replace H2 bit PostgreSQL. Add localhost and port number is 5432 and database is bookdb. Here I am adding the condition like create the database if not exist and the value is true. So basically this condition helps to create a database automatically but in case of Postgres it doesn't work. We will see how to make it work but not now in coming video. Need to add DDL auto property also. Here I am choosing the create, later we can update accordingly. Ok, so all changes are done. Now let's run this project. 
it is throwing error. So the error is like the database does not exist. As I said earlier, in Postgres, automatically database creation is a little different that we will cover in the next video. For this time, let's directly create database in the Postgres. Database created successfully. Here you can see there is no table available. Let's start the server again. Server is starting but still throwing one error. Let's fix this also. So here error is like invocation target exception. This exception is also coming because of Postgres. To fix this we need to add one more JPA related property. So let's add first terminate the server. Here properties like hibernate temp use JDBC metadata defaults set the value to false. Start the server. Server started without any error. Here refresh the tables package. See here one table created. Now let's open the query tool. Let's write the simple select query. See one record is there. That means Postgres related changes are working fine. Now let's open the readme md file. Let's copy the get request. See it is working. Let's quickly review whatever we added till now. I hope you learned something from this video. If yes, then please do the needful things like comment, share and subscribe. In coming video, we'll see what configuration need to add so it can create on the fly database. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.